Hey everyone, it's me Charlie here, welcome back. Today's video is a bit weird, it's a bit of an update, life, vloggy sort of thing, I don't really know what it's supposed to be, but I realised I hadn't really talked to you guys uh, that recently about, you know, what's been going on, what's been happening, we've just been kind of diving right into the content and, you know, I wanted to make a video today, so I figured, why not, let's make a video talking to you guys about what's been going on recently. So yeah, here we are. It seems a little late for me to be talking about this now, but last month was my birthday. I was absolutely thrilled to receive a Nintendo Switch from my amazing parents, thank you so much. And I have been putting this thing to good use, don't worry. In case you guys aren't familiar with it, the Nintendo Switch is Nintendo's newest home console slash handheld hybrid with a huge variety of awesome games that are made both by Nintendo and by a wide range of third-party developers, I know the Switch will be keeping me occupied for a while. My favourites so far include Super Mario Odyssey, my favourite game I've played so far on the Switch, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, a game I only picked up recently so I haven't actually finished it yet, which has been recommended by so many people to me so I'm very excited, FIFA 19, Super Mario Party, and Overcooked 2, with even more incredible titles to come, such as Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and of course some Generation 8 Pokemon game down the line. The coolest thing, however, about the Nintendo Switch has to be its hybrid capabilities, allowing it to switch, get it? Between a handheld console to a home console to use with a TV like that. The Switch has three main modes, which I will go through now. TV mode is probably my most used mode, allowing me to enjoy my games to the fullest with a large screen. TV mode in itself has lots of variation in how you play as well. You can use Nintendo's main controller for the Switch, the Joy-Con, separated or in a grip that allows them to function more like a traditional controller. The Joy-Con, by the way, are awesome. It's actually kind of incredible how much tech can fit into something so small. Personally, I enjoy the separated Joy-Con over the Joy-Con grip, as I enjoy the flexibility that using two separated Joy-Cons has over just one. While I'm using the two separated Joy-Con, it always reminds me of the feeling of using a Wii Remote and a Nunchuck. The Wii Remote pretty much pioneered motion controls in video game, which are present in the Joy-Con. When I used to use my Wii Remote, the way the sensor for it was placed, it meant a lot of the time I had to stand up when I wanted to use this thing which was sort of the point with games like Wii Sports. I find myself doing the same thing when using the Joy-Con, not because I have to, the Joy-Con don't require a sensor to work, it's just purely out of habit. It's not really a bad habit though, it's probably good for me honestly to be standing up sometimes. The Joy-Con grip itself is pretty uncomfortable to use and I would not recommend it however. The button layout is quite strange and the grip part of the Joy-Con grip is just hard plastic that isn't too comfortable to hold. There is one other officially licensed controller option that I definitely prefer over both of these options though, but I'll get to that later, you might have seen it in a couple of shots already. Moving on, the next commonly used of the three modes for me is handheld mode. Handheld is great for playing on the go or in bed. Wait, hold up, what does that pillow say? S-U-B scribe. Oh, subscribe. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like a really cool thing to do after I've watched this video. There's not really much else to say in terms of variation in handheld mode. There's no other controller options, obviously, but handheld doesn't really need it, in my opinion. The Joy-Cons do a really great job here, which kind of shows the versatility these things have. The final mode is tabletop mode. This is my least played mode, unfortunately, but that doesn't mean I don't use it at all. It's actually pretty helpful when someone else is hogging the TV. What the hell, man? You don't even have opposable thumbs. The controller options here are the same as TV mode. Detached Joy-Cons, the Joy-Con grip, ew. And the third option, yes, I'm ready to talk about it now, the Pro Controller. The Pro Controller is, in my opinion, the best way to play the Nintendo Switch. The buttons are nice and clicky and satisfying, the sticks are great, the button layout makes sense. It's really comfortable to hold just the right size and weight, in my opinion. The only thing I sort of don't like are the triggers. If they were analog, like on an Xbox controller, that would be heaps better, I think. Overall, I still love this controller, and in my opinion, it's the best controller I've ever used. And yes, I've used an Xbox controller before. 
they're also pretty good, but I think I like the Pro Controller just a bit more. PlayStation controllers, though. Don't even get me started. Like, they don't even make sense. Why are the sticks there? What the hell? I picked up the Pro Controller recently, and while a bit pricey, it's a huge improvement over the Joy-Con grip. Yeah, see ya, buddy. The Switch isn't all positives. Its kickstand, for instance, is pretty bad, and the fact that it only has one means that it can't stand up on anything that isn't completely flat and solid. Another thing I dislike is the battery life when using this thing in handheld mode. The Switch will usually last about two to three hours fully charged, in my experience. Something else is the fact that because the charger for this thing on, is on the bottom, when playing in tabletop mode, you can't play and charge at the same time, which is kind of annoying, considering the previous thing about the battery. Companies like Orsley, Orsley, is that how you pronounce it? Orsley? Do make stands and such that not only allow for different adjustment of the angle at which your switch is, well, angled, it also allows you to charge at the same time, because it's raised off the ground a little. But the fact that I have to buy a separate accessory for that is just kind of annoying. It doesn't bother me so much though, because I don't really use tabletop mode too often. Something that other people might find annoying is that when docked, the Switch can only run at a max resolution of 1080p. This doesn't bother me too much at all, really, as I don't own a 4K TV. But if you do, this might be a bit annoying, I guess. It never really bothered me though. 1080p isn't bad at all, in fact, it still looks pretty good. Speaking of docked mode, the Switch dock is pretty cheaply made. It's primarily made of plastic, which some people have reported has actually scratched up their Switch screens while taking it in and out of the dock. Thankfully, I haven't actually experienced this myself. Luckily, there is an easy fix. A screen protector. I was aware of this issue and picked up a good tempered glass one straight away. I would certainly recommend getting one for your Switch as well. Better safe than sorry. Despite these minor flaws, I love the Nintendo Switch and its selection of awesome games. I love that I'm lucky enough to own one, and it's probably my favourite gaming console today. But anyway, enough about the Switch. I also got this really cool desktop microphone which you've seen me put to use in a couple of videos now. Uh, it's for singing, voiceovers for videos like this obviously, and you know, it just, I love it, it sounds really incredible, and it looks awesome on my desk as well, so I'm really happy about this. Just getting used to incorporating this thing into videos. But yeah, as you can hear, it is a massive improvement over recording using the iPad, which I'm using to film right now. Currently, it's the school holidays here in New South Wales, but um, it is Friday, and school starts on Monday, this Monday. <laughs> These school holidays have been pretty awesome. We went to Canberra in the ACT to uh, see some relatives of ours from Melbourne, who we don't get to see very often, which was cool. We also went to Floriard, which in case you guys um, aren't familiar with Floriard, it's basically like a big uh, celebration of spring, I think is what it's called. And they have a lot of cool, like big flowers and collections and like big gardens and stuff like that. And it's really cool. And we enjoyed that a lot as well. And we also went and visited the Australian War Memorial which I've been to a couple of times, but they had a couple of uh, cool exhibits on right now. So we went and checked it out and it was cool. Something else that's popped up recently, well I say popped up, but uh, it's actually been around for, what is it, a year now? Yeah, a year now. I haven't had the chance to talk about it here at all because I haven't really been interested in it at all before now, but um, all my friends are playing it, pretty much everyone's playing it. You've definitely heard of it it's Fortnite, right? And before now, I've never really had a drive or, you know, want to play Fortnite. Fortnite itself is a battle royale, which in case you guys aren't familiar with, it basically means that it's player versus player, so you versus real people online who are also playing the game have to fight it out, and whoever the last person alive is, wins. Which never really interested me that much. I never played any PUBG or anything like that. In the middle of nowhere, with crap internet, I never really could play too many online games. In fact, if Team Fortress 2 didn't have bots, I probably still wouldn't play it today. Crazy to think that bots saved that. It's kind of sad, honestly. But yeah, our internet sort of got upgraded recently. It's still pretty crap. I get a bit of lag sometimes. And with all my friends playing it, and the new cross-platforming stuff, 
that's now in the game, and the fact that Fortnite's on Switch, I felt kind of obliged to install it. I mean, it's free. Why not, you know? Install it, play a couple of games with my mates, see how it was, and I don't hate it. Not very good as a PC gamer, primarily. Consoles, for me, have always been, you know, for fun, right? Mario Odyssey, Zelda Breath of the Wild, all just like fun games that you can sit down and play. Mario Kart, FIFA, which I'm getting soon for Switch. And I leave the professional, you know, sort of really hardcore, try-hardy games basically for PC. I would play Fortnite on PC, except my laptop, well, it's a laptop and it's trash. And it's literally just the school one for online games, especially and games that are physically demanding, especially with Fortnite where there are a hundred players all playing at once. Ah, uh, my laptop doesn't really like that very much. Usually just crashes a bunch. I get a lot of frame rate drops and it, the game just looks crap. And honestly, it's just better for me to play it on Switch. You know, I'm having fun trying not to spend too much money on it because it is a free game and the things you buy are pretty much purely cosmetic except for you know battle pass and stuff like that yes i play fortnite because my friends won't play anything else with me and because i sort of feel obliged to owning a switch which runs it pretty well honestly and with new upgraded internet and it's pretty good not the best game i've ever played on switch Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild are both much better, <laughs> but it's definitely not bad at all. So for now, I'm still using iMovie, which you probably see at the bottom of all my video descriptions. If I do end up sometime in the future getting maybe a better computer or something, and then I could get video editing software on that, I will definitely tell you guys about that, because a new computer would be pretty good. Because this thing... Yeah, this thing stinks, not gonna lie. And that's basically going to wrap up today's video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed something a little bit different today. As usual, <laughs> I'm not very consistent in the kind of videos that I upload. And I hope to make a couple more of these as well, just because they're fun and uh, hopefully you guys like them. And you know, it's just a way for me to communicate more with you guys personally about what's happening in my life. YouTube to me has always been a creative outlet for, you know, sketches, commentary, nerdy crap, which I talk about all the time. And I appreciate those of you who sit here and actually watch it. Thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment telling me what you liked, what you didn't like. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more of me in your sub box at some point in the future. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bear, you're famous. You were in today's video. Does that make you happy? You don't really care, do you? <laughs>